everyone welcome to a new video from Techosa what is a microchip and how is it made what if i said it is made from sand strange right watch the full video to know how microchip is made from sand Simple element sand is the starting point of making an integrated circuit that powers everything today from supercomputers to smartphones to microwave oven. Let's have a look at the inventors behind the great invention. The pioneers known for the invention of microchip technology are Jack Kilby and Robert Noyce. In 1959, Jack Kilby and Robert Noyce showed that many transistors, resistors, capacitors could be grouped on a single board of semiconducting material which led to the invention of microchips. The integrated circuit or microchip came to be a vital component in computers and other electronic equipments. Okay, but what actually is a microchip? A microchip is manufactured from a semiconducting material such as silicon which is obtained from earth. And silicon is the second most abundant element on earth. Microchips are logic chips that performs the computations inside most commercial computers which are also known as microprocessors or simply processors. The microchip contains a set of interconnected electronic components such as transistors, resistors, capacitors that are imprinted on a tiny wafer-thin chip. An integrated circuit acts as a controller switch to perform a specific task. And the transistor inside the integrated circuit acts as an on and off switch. Now let's look at how a microchip is made. The manufacturing of microchip includes a series of high-tech steps that requires the absolute limit in precision machines and state-of-the-art materials. The silicon-rich sand is melted and cooled forming a solid. This strong silicon foundation is what gives each chip limitless potential. The solid silicon is then sliced into wafers. Wafers with large diameter offers more space for chips. These wafers are the basic building blocks for chip production. The circuit that should be built on a wafer for the working of a microchip is done by a process called photolithography which uses chemicals, light and gas. And photolithography is the process used for the microfabrication of patterns of circuit on the wafers. The circuit is drawn in a computer which is then embedded on the surface of wafer using the process of photolithography. And the next process etching is used to chemically remove the layers from the surface of wafers during manufacturing. For many etch steps, the part of a wafer is protected from the etching by a masking material which resists etching. In many cases, the masking material is a photoresist that has been patterned using photolithography. Other situations require a more durable mask. For this, a layer of silicon dioxide is deposited on the surface of the silicon wafer. Then that layer is covered with a photoresist. A photoresist is a light sensitive material used to form a pattern coating on the surface using ultraviolet light. Gas is used to imprint the remaining soft areas. This process is repeated and modified to build the component circuitry. All these steps are done in a clean room to provide extensive precautions to prevent contamination by dust and other foreign substances. Photolithography using different masks is repeated hundreds of times for the same chip followed by more etching and doping. Then the end chip is overlaid with a thin layer of metal, usually aluminium, to create conducting path between the components etched into the chip. Each chip then undergoes many tests to check its performance. Then the chip are separated from the wafer by using a saw and are further used to plug into the circuit board. That is how microchips are made. And do you know the uses of microchip? Microchips are used in many electrical devices beside computer. In 1960s, the Air Force has used microchip to build the Minuteman II missile and also NASA has purchased microchips for its Apollo project. Today, microchips are used in smartphones that allow people to use the internet. Microchips are also used in television, GPS tracking devices, identification card as well as medicine for the speedier diagnosis of cancer and other diseases. 
So that's it for today's session. Hope this video was informative for you. If you have any doubts and queries regarding this session, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. So see you all in the next video. Till then, bye bye.